Whether you're getting a new puppy, adult, senior, or just looking to provide your canine companion with a better diet, there can be a lot of questions around feeding. In today's video, we're going to talk about making the decisions when it comes to feeding your Doberman more manageable. Welcome back to the Doberman channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about Doberman. Then, how to become higher level canine leaders that can raise perfect Doberman. So if you're a lifelong Doberman lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Doberman, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Doberman video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll go over everything you need to know when it comes to feeding your Doberman. Feeding your Doberman appropriately depends on several factors like their age, activity level and type of diet you're feeding them. If you're feeding commercial dog food, you'll want to get the type that's appropriate for your Doberman's age and weight. You'll find large breed puppy, adult and senior foods readily available from most brands carried in pet stores and online retailers. If you've just brought home your new canine companion, it's best to get the same food they've been eating and gradually switch them to a different diet or brand over several weeks to avoid upset stomachs. The same thing goes for switching to a new diet or brand at any point in your canine's life. Work the new food in gradually until they're entirely onto the new food. The next thing to consider is their activity level. Commercial dog foods have nutrition labels and suggest feeding amounts based on the dog's weight. Most commercial dog foods will recommend about four cups a day for an 80 pound canine, but each brand is going to be a little bit different based on the nutritional density. You'll want to use this as a starting point and adjust the amount of food up or down based on how active your Doberman is day by day. By paying attention to their body condition, you'll be able to tell pretty quickly if they need more or less food. The breed isn't prone to obesity because of their higher energy level, though you'll want to make sure they stay trim to avoid any extra weight on their joints. We've talked about commercial dog food so far, also known as kibble, but I just want to take a second here and mention that there are some other options. We love the raw diet here at Fenrir, but we know it's not right for every home or every canine. If you want to learn more about it, we have an entire course dedicated to teaching you everything you need to know about feeding a completely raw diet. If you're not ready to go down that route, know that you can easily supplement your commercial dog food with some raw ingredients. For example, some people like to feed half the recommended kibble and supplement with a couple of fresh eggs at each meal to help reduce shedding. Some people prefer to add salmon oil or other supplements to their Doberman's commercial food for joint protection, bone density, allergies, shedding and other health factors while others prefer grain-free, limited ingredients or potato-free. It's best to enlist the help of your vet or a canine nutritionist to make sure your Doberman is still getting all the right nutrients and protein they need. No matter what diet you're feeding your Doberman, deciding how often to feed them is your next decision. For large breeds like the Doberman, it's recommended that you split their total food for the day into at least two meals. This helps their stomach digest the food better by having a higher acid to food ratio and keeps the stomach from overproducing acid to cope with a large amount of dry food. And it also helps to prevent bloat, which can be fatal. Both large breed and fast eaters can also benefit from feeding two or even three times a day, along with adding water or broth to the kibble. The added liquid can slow down their eating pace or you could also purchase a slow feeder bowl or foraging mat. Slow feeders look a bit like a maze with raised ridges in patterns that force the canine to use their tongue to grab a few bits of kibble and chew before going back for more. Foraging mats are similar but are made of soft tassels and plush materials that your canine has to sniff under and around to try and find dry bits of food bit by bit. These have the added benefits of being simple brain games that allow your Doberman to use their powerful sense of smell. Feeding your Doberman doesn't have to be complicated, but you should consider all of the feeding options out there and talk to your vet about the best diet for your canine companion. Checking in with your vet or canine nutritionist has the added benefit of using their scale to see exactly how your Doberman's weight has changed relative to their body condition. Just like with us, weight gain or loss can happen slowly enough that we don't notice a difference between one day and the next. 
Remember to consult with the experts or if you have any questions or concerns and be wary of fad diets because those exist for canines too. With the right diet and feeding routine, you'll have a very happy and healthy Doberman bringing love into your home every day. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit the like button, get involved in the comment section down below and don't forget if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have three dedicated Doberman videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Doberman channel.